Welcome or welcome back on Watch Advisor and YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host, and in the picture is the watch. I am going to show you the Blancpain 50 Fathoms automatic uh, grand date, as the French say, or big date in a titanium case with a titanium bracelet. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. If you do so, you have the chance to win the brand new iPhone 12 Pro. The happy winner will be announced in the community section tab January 2021. Good luck! To make the long story short, this is of course not a new watch. Uh, the Blancpain Automatic Grand Dat Big Date existed already in a titanium case, but now it is available also in combination with a titanium bracelet and the huge advantage of it is the weight so the entire watch the entire watch weighs 162 grams so that's ultra light for such a huge watch and this is what is new so it is the titanium bracelet let me already take the watch and show it to you so this is what i'm talking about here comes the titanium bracelet with a folding clasp there you go that's the folding clasp and the blancpain logo and there you go and this is what is new with the 50 fathoms in this execution so we are still talking about uh, the 50 fathoms the case diameter is 45 uh, 45 millimeters the thickness is 16.27 27 16.27 millimeters and the so-called lug to lug distance lug to lug distance is 50 millimeters once again i just said it before the entire weight of the watch you are seeing in the picture and i've just been describing 45 millimeters of diameters is 162 grams imagine imagine the watch would be made out of solid stainless steel i think we would talk about a watch weighing some 500 grams half of a kilo yeah i think so this would be impossible to wear i can tell you since uh, half a kilo on your wrist maybe arnold schwarzenegger or sylvester stallone can handle for a longer time but we human beings we can't too heavy so we are still um, looking at a typical blancpain 50 fathoms with that incredible beautiful and very unique turning basil of course the basil is only turning counterclockwise i will show you 120 clicks there you can you hear that solid clicking wait Shh. absolutely swiss mechanics couldn't be better. There we go. Now let me concentrate and put it back exactly at the seconds. But yeah, there it is. So um, that was the counterclockwise turning basal. It's a diver, 300 meters waterproof. Yes. Um, and what is also nice to have on the watch is the big date function. Here you have the big date, the 12th. And this is really cool to have such a huge date indication because it will help you to read the date also without glasses in case you need some so it is huge big date or grand date as the french say so let me also now go in the right position and this is winding second position is date um, and i will now show you how it looks like look Let the second hand just pass by. Voilà, au revoir, monsieur. Let's continue. You see, I will go through all the figures. The frittiest, watch now. Okay, the two discs, there are two discs making those combinations possible. We do have a nice view on the movement, so you can see how the discs look like underneath of the dial. We can't show you this, but 
we have a picture so let me continue the 31st and now watch we're going back to zero one there it is zero one then two three and I will come back to the 12th 9 10 watch now when the one there it is so and there is the 12th so um, well, monsieur is returning look he's really um, wanting at attention the little second hand. Okay, au revoir, monsieur, once again. Uh, funny, that's always Murphy. I'm showing something and any of uh, some of the hands are covering exactly what I want to show. So let me now show you the date change um, when it is appearing at midnight. I have to continue until midnight. And uh, this is what happens. You saw it, I will go through once again so we will quickly turn around it's it's a fantastic i have to say you know opening the crown such a huge crown sometimes you get something in your hands you you said to yourself they can't be serious selling you a mechanical wristwatch with a so shaky and really not in terms of mechanics or or haptics good feeling crown but this one is really as it should be wait i'm coming back for the date watch correctly the 14th will show up in the next second there it is so this is how the day change looks like at midnight so now i will go back to 10 o'clock in the morning so there we are and uh, screw down the crown it is of course screw down crown and once again this feeling touching such a crown is simply amazing really well done nothing to complain about so once again from the side uh, here is it from the side the automatic movement is the 6918b 6918b it is a 4 hertz uh, movement a 4 hertz movement 28800 semi oscillation of the balance wheel that you see here 120 hours of power reserve there it is i hope you can see the balance wheel yes 120 hours of power reserve 262 components silicon hairspring also here we do have a silicon hairspring so the watch is more or less anti-magnetic protection against magnetic fields is given and this is also the reason why they are able to have a see-through case back so and one thing i have to show you that's not easy oh yeah but now this is the winding rotor you can see the winding rotor clearly indicating blancpain on it 50 fathoms and if you now think this is a rotor that is not made out of gold wrong look what is written here in uh, small letters it's written 18 karat gold so the rotor is only plated uh, with a color so it uh, gives uh, the entire movement a technical look but it is an 18 karat gold rotor winding this Blancpain movement of course no cheating from Blancpain they are really haute horlogerie and that's what they show but they are plating it so it is looking great the rotor some other thing um, you see the folding clasp though so the question that appears is there a possibility to adjust the length clearly no that's a folding clasp that does not give you the possibility to adjust the length of the bracelet but there are screws here integrated in the bracelet and they do have a bayonet fitting um, and it is really easy to open up those screws it's a bayonet you just turn it f uh, some degrees and it will open up and then you can take out some of the links i didn't get the appropriate um, plastic screwdriver you need i do have one here i can show you this is mine but it is too big so i was not able to open up uh, those screws i don't have one in that size uh, but once you do have a solid plastic screwdriver as one as i showed you, you can open up the bayonet fitting easily it's no rocket science and then you can take out some of the links if you need to adjust the length here are those screws and you can really take them out and use those links to shorten or lengthen the bracelet but if you were looking or if you're expecting this bracelet to have something like a quick adjustment it does not i do personally think this is a flaw i have to say i would uh, 
instead of having such a butterfly, anyhow, don't like those butterfly clasps, but okay, this is me. Some will say they are the best. I don't like them. I prefer to have a classical pin buckle on a strap. And if it is such a bracelet, um, they could probably think about of introducing a different clasp that will have a length adjustment included so you can quickly make some adjustments if necessary. But otherwise, this bracelet is ultra comfortable. This is if I'm moving it. Look, it is really ultra comfortable. It is perfectly adjusting to the form of your wrists. No doubt, comfortable, smooth. It's titanium. It's a warm material once you put it on your wrist. No cold feeling of a massive metal strap you would have if it would be stainless steel. Ultra light, 162 grams the entire watch. Really, for the size you're seeing, that's a huge watch. Really, a huge watch. And I have to say, um, yeah. It is comfortable to wear. It is a big watch, yes, 17 centimeters my wrist. So I don't know if this would be a watch everybody would put on his wrist in that size. Uh, but um, nevertheless, the watch is ultra light, 162 grams, as I mentioned already in the video. But look how beautifully it looks. I had to cheat a little bit because the bracelet is too big and um, the tooling necessary uh, to take out some links, I didn't get it from Blancpain, so I preferred not to manipulate the bracelet and to uh, do any scratches on, but I didn't get the tooling, so I couldn't take out one of the links. I should have done this to better show you, but okay, cheating around here <laughs> with a little I can't wait to show you the night shot or the dark shot of this uh, 50 Fathoms. This um, unidirectional rotating basal with a scratch resistant uh, sapphire inlay is heavily fitted with Super Luminova. You will just see it. Incredible. Look at that. Look at that. This looks like if the watch would be equipped with a battery somewhere and um, yeah, you will have kind of a hidden button somewhere to turn off and turn on the light. It's incredible. Really, really, really incredible. So this is, you can see it also, um, these are these heavy uh, fitted Super Luminova parts on the bezel and this is what makes the watch look as it looks when it is dark. Incredible. What else to say? Nothing. In principle, I have been showing you the watch and um, I have to say for the size of the watch and for um, the fact that you're wearing a watch with a bracelet, 162 grams are almost nothing. If you try to figure out, put 162 grams in a cup or something, or weigh a cap or cup with 162 grams versus a cup with 500 grams, and then you will see the difference. And I can tell you, if this watch would be equipped with a stainless steel bracelet, it will be too heavy to be worn and impossible. You couldn't, you couldn't, no, no way. Let me also point out that the watch still, of course, is available either with an Atos strap or a sailing canvas, so you can wear it either now with the titanium bracelet, a NATO strap or a sailing canvas. So you may choose once buying the watch or um, yeah, buying uh, as an additional option the other straps, so uh, bracelets and straps, depending on what you bought first. Um, the watch, as shown in the picture, is actually sold for 18,130 euros, 18,130 euros, including 16% of VAT, that's reduced VAT in Germany, that is actually there to stimulate the economy, so 16% VAT added in the price of 18,130 euros. The watch is not limited and should be available already now in the Blancpain outlets 
all fries dealers and boutiques. Oh, maybe this I didn't show you before finishing the video. Can you see this? Yeah, this is a specific thing of the Blancpain 50 Fathoms with the glass. You can see here. And this brings some slight distortions when you look from the side sometimes happens that you have some distortions. I'm trying to show you this, but I'm risking to get the reflections of the lights. But it's nothing that is really disturbing, but it is there and this is part of that iconic design of the 50 Fathoms That's what in, that was introduced in 1953 and is in my humble opinion, the mother of all diving watches. The mother of all diving watches. Yes. So, thanks for watching this presentation of the 50 Fathoms uh, automatic grande date. Big date, grande date in French, la grande date, the big date here. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Your questions are welcome. Your comments as well and yeah let me know what you think and thanks for watching once again one of our videos and stay tuned because on watch advisor there's lots of thing lots of things that are going to happen in the next weeks bye bye